Hi guys, this is Chloe Kiefer with Evolve Lab, here to bring you another video about Revit Generative Design. So in this video, Bill, Clara, and Ben are going to be talking about how Dynamo is used for the Revit Generative Design tool. We have these uh, different nodes here that are specific for, for the generative design, which we are using purple to, to annotate them. We have this data gauge, which is defining if the geometry gets created inside of Revit or not. And we also have this one that I want to show, which is remembering the data, which is just basically getting this surface and uh, sending it to the generative design tool to actually use the parameters in that surface. So I have like many inputs here and I'm not using all of them as inputs inside of the generative design. So to do that, you right click on your input and define it as, as input. And here you can see that I'm also defining it as an output because if you set it as an output here, then you can use that value to, to become a goal in a constraint within the, the settings that we put before doing the study. But you can make watch nodes as outputs too. So if you have a watch node of like, let's say you have a lot of computation and uh, the goal is to maximize, maximize a certain objective, you just mm -hmm. put that into a watch node from another one of the no nodes. And then let's say if that watch node is like numeric, then you could put, you know, I want to minimize this value wanna, or I want to maximize this value. You could make that watch code as an output and then the uh, evolutionary solver actually attempts that. Now that we understand all the scripts, I'm going to export this study to be using generative design. So we go up here and you export for generative design and export. Okay, so now that we did that, we don't have to open Dynamo again to, to create a solution in, within Revit. We can just go directly to the Revit ribbon and use the generative design tool in there. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is we're going to go to manage and create a study, opening this. And here we're gonna use this one. And here we're going to start playing around with these inputs and outputs that we selected to generate these multiple options that we're trying to. So now that we've seen kind of how Dynamo functions as the backbone for this generative design tool in Revit, our next videos are gonna look into how to actually use this tool in Revit itself.